This guy has an actual chain axe attached to his head. We've got two new outlaws for Necromunda to take a look at and they're both goliath based and they're both absolutely ridiculous. These might actually be the silliest Necromunda models that Games Workshop has done so far, which is kind of saying something because one of the cool things about Necromunda is occasionally you get something that's just a bit wild, a bit crazy, a bit out there, a bit silly. And I don't mind that, in fact I quite like that. You can't have everything be silly all the time, of course, but if you can slip in the occasional bit of absolute madness, I like it when they do that. And that's what they've done this time around. This guy is Axon Hammer. He has his own war rig called Behemoth, and he's got a, uh, a combi plasma there. Lovely. He's also got an iron jaw. And you know what? The more I look at it, the more I wonder exactly how he says anything to anyone ever, because it kind of looks like it's just bolted straight into his face. It looks like it attaches at the ears, in fact. Now, unless the attachment at the ears is a hinge, whenever he talks, he's going to be talking like this, because can't actually open his mouth all the way. It's ridiculous, but at the same time, I quite like it, and it gives him an extremely disapproving glare. Like, he looks like he is not happy with you. Whatever you've done, whatever it is that you've just said, it was clearly stupid. Why did you open your mouth? Why did you say it? The reason he never opens his mouth is so he doesn't appear stupid to other people. That's why he's got an iron jaw that means his lips are permanently sealed shut. But you, you had to open your mouth and prove that you're an idiot, and that disapproving look is is what you get for it. And it was deserved. It was deserved, frankly. That combi plasma actually looks really cool. I do like that a lot. The, uh, the He's got your general kind of Goliath look to him. There's nothing really exceptional there, apart from the gigantic spiky shoulder pads. The chain hanging down is a nice touch, especially the hook on the end. I do like that a lot. And he's got a very fancy one-shoulder cape. I'm always a fan of the one-shoulder cape. I think it just has, it just has like a, an air of class about it. I would suggest that this is kind of silly in a way. Mr. Hammer is a little bit ridiculous. I mean, he has got the giant head crest. He's also got the iron jaw. The gun is nearly as big as he is. It's, it's quite the look, but it's a strong look. It's a strong, confident look. You can't take that away from him. I do quite like him, and no matter how daft he might look, he's never going to look as daft as Durgan Killfist, who is so named because he has a giant spiky plate where one of his fists is. I mean, <laughs> just what what is happening here? What is, what is going on with this? So, we have a large, girthy, extremely girthy, I would suggest, Goliath lad here. In one hand, he has a giant pointy, blunt, but also spiky, beaty stick, which is literally taller than him, even including his chain axe head, for whatever reason. Absolutely ludicrous. He also has on the other arm a very nice arrangement of kind of joints and hinges, which end in what is effectively a meat tenderizer. <laughs> like, you use what you would take something of that shape and nature to a steak or to or to a, maybe a bit of chicken. You know, there's there's all sorts of uses for for the old meat tenderizer, and clearly he has found a use for his here, which is to tenderize living people. I, <laughs> it's like no matter which part of him you focus on, the only bit that you can focus on for this guy that isn't absolutely absurd, is his feet. Those are the only normal parts of him. Actually, no, I'd say maybe the legs as well. Maybe the legs. He's got a massive belt, complete with a skull that also has, like, a metal mohawk attached to it, because you've got to keep the branding consistent, obviously. The one shoulder pad is relatively reasonable. It's just the fact that it's offset on the other side by a massive metal contraption that ends in a meat tenderizer, and the fact that he actually has a chainsaw, like a chainsaw to chain axe head. What the hell? Like, complete with a little exhaust. Like, that's a little exhaust coming off the side. That's what that is. It's not a decorative thing. That works. So presumably, his main method for dealing with people is to run in head first, cleave them a little bit with the old head crest there, then you tenderize them with the big meat tenderizer fist, and then if someone tries to interrupt you whilst tenderizing, you use the giant hammer in the other hand to knock them off to the side so that you can then, you know, lay them out for tenderizing later. What an absolutely ridiculous model. What on earth? Also, I've only just noticed that the maul, like the big hammer, also is made up of little skulls that have 
spiky crests coming out of the head like the spiky crest that he has coming out of his head. This dude's branding is on point. You can't fault him. He has got a consistent look. He has got a signature, a signature move, and he is absolutely applying that anywhere he can. To be honest, I'm amazed the shoulder pad doesn't have a little skull with a crest coming out of the forehead. This lad knows what he likes, and he makes sure that you know what he likes as well. Got a nice close-up of the kill fist. <laughs> I like the way you say it's a massive spiked gauntlet, Bolton. That's not a gauntlet. That isn't a gauntlet. It's just a flat slab of metal with spikes on it that has had to be braced so he can hold it properly. Absolutely ridiculous. Also, the mall is called Crusher. That is more likely to rend you in twain than actually crush you, isn't it? What the hell? It's absolute insanity, it's ludicrous, and I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I really like these. <laughs> They're so dumb. One is way more dumb than the other, but still, pretty, pretty mad all round, in my opinion. Sometimes a bit of mad is good, though, isn't it? Sometimes you just you just want a bit of mad. Question is, what do you think of these two? <laughs> Which is your favourite? If it's not Captain Tenderizer, then I don't want to know. I don't want to speak to you ever again. Although, then again, then again, it could be uh, it could be the lad who can no longer move his face. It, I guess also, both strong options. Both strong options. Let me know which you prefer in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things. Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Ermin Games, which can you support the channel if you'd like. There's also one for Noble Night Gamers if you're in the US. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.